What is going on, Nipslips? Nips is here bringing you our team builder for week uh, seven of the GBA. It's been so long, guys. I have no clue what's going on, but it's been a long time for the GBA. And we are back at it bringing you our team builder. Sorry, I got coffee and I want to drink it. <laughs> but down below, we have our opponent's team versus George and the San Francisco Arcaniners. Uh, you can see his team is Scissor, Gujar, Gothitelle, Nidal Queen, Umbreon, Bronzong, Miltank, Rotom, Shiftry, Crodon, and Mega Lopunny. Now you see my team right above me, and uh, some obvious things right away. I feel Gengar and Slowbro are useless because Gothitelle could trap them both. Um, <clears throat> uh, Gothitelle more so trapping the. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like Gothitelle could trap them both, which would be annoying. And then. Uh, Slowly, they like, dwindle me down with stuff and whatnot. I mean, I could set up a Slowbro, but I don't feel like Slowbro is a good idea to bring this week. Because Slowbro drops to Scizor. Slowbro probably drops to Gudra. If Gudra carries a, a Grass, which I think it does. Uh, got to tell Ked take down Slowbro. Nina Queen with a sheer force boosted. Uh, attack and do a lot of damage to Slowbro. Umbreon's a pain in the ass. Like a wall Slowbro. Uh, also, status me. Bronzong walls it pretty well. Miltank is Miltank. Rotom can kill me. Shitu can kill me. Corn can kill me. And Mega Low Party can't do much, but that's like 8 out of 11 Pokemon, whatever the hell it is, is, uh, is uh, gonna perp Silver pretty bad. Gengar, same thing, doesn't do much this week. Uh, I predict George this week to bring, though, no matter what. I feel like Scissor's coming, Mega Low Party, Bronzong, Umbreon, Nidal Queen, and Gothitelle. That's what I think is coming this week uh, for against me. So I prep mostly for those guys. I didn't prep long at all, guys. I literally took like 10 minutes to make this team. It felt great instead of wasting three hours. It felt great doing this. Been taking 10 minutes. Boom, here we go. Took a quick look at his team, thought what I could do, and I just made it, made it really quick. So first off, we have Scrafty. And uh, Scrafty is going to be a full-out attacker this week with D-Dance, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, and Knockoff. Because look at that, uh, George's team. George's team does not uh, like a setup Scrafty or for Alligator. Scrafty kills a lot of things. You can Drain Punch Scizor, Ice Punch Gudra, uh, Knock Off Gothitelle, Ice Punch Nidoqueen, Queen, uh, Drain Punch Umbreon, Knock Off Bronzong, Drain Punch Miltank, Knock Off Rotom, uh, Drain Punch Shiftry, Drain Punch Cordon, Drain Punch Mega Low Punny. Literally every single Pokemon is answered by this moveset right here. So if I get if I can outspeed Mega Low Punny, the game's over. Just like that. But the problem is getting there, and uh, we need at least two. Pl uh, we need plus two speed to outspeed him. And right now I have Max. I have a Jolly Nature. And I need I need to be plus two to outspeed low putty. Everybody else is plus one, but so I gotta kill low putty and then set up a scrafty as a GG. I brought a scrafty with a chopper berry and intimidate, so I can even set up on mega low putty, possibly turn my HP and what's going down. And that's a scrafty in a nutshell, folks. And then we have Excelgore. We have Excelgore this week, rocking spikes, U-turn, bug buzz, uh, not bug buzz, yes, bug buzz, and focus blast. Basically, um, his nature's not serious. Don't worry about that. It's naive. I don't think I changed it. And basically, with this guy, Hazard Setter Upper, U Turn for Initiative, Bug Buster Stab, Focus Blast as our answer to Mega Low Pony. Because after a well, layer of spikes, Focus Blast is like a 68% chance to Oko, and that outspeeds you. And, uh, yeah, so Focus Blast connects, you're gonna die. So it's the answer to Mega Low Pony. It's great. Phenomenal. Like, Excelgor is, I like Excelgor a lot this season. He, uh, hasn't done too much just yet, but just having him on my team, I really like the speed and the Hazard Setting Up with him. Spikes is definitely, uh, a lot better in, in a leak format than it is in a, uh, in a regular like OU format, if you will, in my opinion, at least. Same with Toxic Spikes. Toxic Spikes are ridiculously good. I miss Drapion so much, man. I wish I had answers for Toxic Spikes, but I don't know if he gets any Toxic Spike users on his team. I don't think he does, uh, so I should be alright with that. I have no clue. But uh, <clears throat> I, I really miss having Drapion for the for that because against Miguel last week, I've, I had Drapion. I would have definitely brought Drapion first of all, no matter what, and uh, second of all. That would have been great. So anyway, enough about that. We got Diggersby, Rocket Quick Attack Return, uh, Fire Punch EQ, Choice Banded. I was thinking Scarf, but I should have banned last second because Quick Attack Banded does so much damage. And uh, I just like him like this a lot. He has an answer for everything just about. Uh, if Earthquake doesn't take, take care of it, Return will. Fire Punch is Scizor, Quick Attack for stab, uh, <clears throat> stab fast damage. And just to uh, get what I need done with Diggersby. Uh, really not much to say about him. But, uh, standard, Diggersby, standard Gator, same thing. A plus one Gator puts in a lot of uh, work against your team right now. Once a low punny goes down, this thing has a field day. It kills your whole entire team, to be honest. <clears throat> Which is great. And I resist bullet punches from Scizor. It's phenomenal. I get a plus one off. Uh, I have a really good matchup this week. I have a really good matchup this week. So George, to be on his A game, 
which is probably going to happen because he's a uh, 5-1 right now, so he's always on his A game. So it's going to be tough to beat this man, but uh, we're going to try to do it anyway. For Alligator, she gets the other win cons, and yeah, that's standard for Alligator. I don't know what you say about him either, guys. I don't know. I just like I just think for Alligator does what he's supposed to do, get plus one. As long as low point is gone, we're good to go. And Rotom Fan. We're bringing a physical wall Rotom Fan this week. Why? Because he resists the low pony stab. He walls everything really well, actually. Like, really well this week. I like it a lot. Uh, I want to try to T-wave with Mega Low Pony. I want to try to T-wave anything in general to slow things down a bit because my team's kind of slow. Uh, uh, Bar and Excelgor. And uh, having a Pain Split for Shenanigans with Pain Split. T-Bold coverage, Air Sense coverage. He's doing his thing, man. We got the uh, Bold. He's supposed to be Bold. Don't worry about serious. We got the Bold. We're a fan coming in hot. He's our physical wall of the week. And to back it up, we have a special wall of the week. Chansey. Beautiful little Chansey with the uh, physical wall chance. It's the thing I always bring. But the moves. Heal Bell, Soft Blood, Flamethrower, and Counter, folks. Now, don't worry about the ability or the uh, the uh, stats. It's just standard physical wall Chansey. Blob. Uh, puts in work this week, I feel. Heal Bell for uh, shenanigans if I get like paralyzed by uh, maybe your Rotom. If uh, Nidor Queen has... Um, <clears throat> Chenang with Ice Beam or Fire Blast, I get burnt or frozen. Miltic has T Wave, I believe, or Body Slams to paralyze me. Uh, Bronzong can um, T Wave me, not T Wave me, he could uh, Toxic to me. Uh, that's about it, really, to be honest, with a uh, uh, with, uh, chance. We do have Counter, because uh, I feel like he's going to bring Drain Punch and not High Jump Kick, so Drain Punch and Chance is not doing that much at all. There's like 48 to 54. That's a, that's a good amount, but it's not as like for a, a, a fighting spam against Chansey, that's not that much at all. Counter will kill you. Counter will kill Scissor's Bullet Punch, superpower. Uh, flamethrower for Scissor as well. Flamethrower for Bronzong. Um, counter for physical attacks in general. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit my throat's a little off, guys. I do apologize. But uh, I feel like this is a good step for Chansey this week. Uh, flamethrower, like I said. Let's see, it's like a, a freaking uh, heat proof Bronzong, which I don't think he will, knowing that big as he's running around. But, um,. Yeah, I like the chance instead a lot. I hope it does a lot of work for us. We're gonna need it. And if you do get like some kind of status action going on, I got Heal Bell. And I just gotta watch out for you being stab fodder. I'm, I'm, I'm probably always gonna double switch it. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see about that. But, um, with that being said, folks, that is our week seven team for uh, our match against uh, George and the San Francisco Arcanators. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, leave a dislike, whatever you wanna do, folks. Let me know what's going down. Uh, we just gotta hope. We get a win. We're three and three right now. We're gonna try to go four and three and get back in the wild card race. I think we're in it right now. I don't know what's going down, but um, it is what it is, folks. Thanks for watching. As always, Nips here, Coach of Red Rockies, out here for now. Have a good one, my friends. Enjoy yourself. Have a great day and enjoy your weekends.